welcome back to the world of Kenshi, the adventures of Hashhead Chloe. She just escaped slavery from the Holy Nation, and we can only hope she will never become a slave again. Yeah. So here we are in the town of Mongol. We need to escape this place. Attacked by Fogman every second. Guys, guys, look! Look who escaped! Reaper's here! Good old Reaper. I'm glad to see that you escaped the, the slavery from the holy assholes. But we're gonna need more people to get out of Mongrel. So as Chloe scours the bar, she sees this guy! Look at him! This dude looks capable. Look at that giant ass sword he's got. I'm sure he can swing it just fine. A shriveled, sinewy old man glares at you with one eye. He looks expectant in a weary sort of way, like he's already bored with you, but he's got to talk to you anyway. Who are you? Crumble John. Why do they call you Crumble John? Because of my crumbling bones, that's enough questions now. Can you actually lift that weapon? No! Go away! That's a really long beard. What? It's the source of my power. Stop pestering me. Why are you so old? Leave me alone! Join my squad. Fine, I join your stupid squad. Yay. Okay, since the beard is the source of his power, let's give him a big beard. We'd be unstoppable now. As Chloe waits in the town centre, trying to think out some plans on how to escape Mongrel, a weird being walks up to her while she gets pushed by some shinobi guards. Beep. Can Chloe help you there, my strange fellow friend? Chloe will talk to this being that keeps saying beep. Beep. Uh, yes, uh, hi, beep. Mm hmm. Silent awkwardness, always good. How. How did you know my name? Educated guess. It was just a random, random ass guess. You must be some kind of genius then. Chloe's a hashhead, so yes, yes she is. Can I join you? I want to become strong, become a swordsman. You don't look very strong, you don't have a weapon, and you're basically made out of twigs. Do you have anything? I have nothing. They exiled me from the hive. Just because you keep saying beep? I am defective. Not good for the hive. But beep doesn't give up. Beep is strong. Since I left the hive, I can feel my mind changing. The way I think, I feel free. Having thoughts I've never had before. I want freedom. But everywhere I go, things try to kill me or chase me. Be tires of running. Time to stab the things that chase me. We are all weak and pathetic and together we'll be stronger. How much money do you want? Money? I don't know what that means. Well, I have good news for you! Welcome to the team! Beep. Right, my trick light friend, let's go introduce you to the team. They're going to be your best friends from now on. Okay, Beep, you are pretty weak in attacking, but can I just say your range and your laboring skill and your athletics? Oh my! Stay away from L's, Beep. Uh, he might mistake you for a big chew stick. And eat your skinny ass, that fat bastard. Hey, look at this nice looking Scorchlander here. Stranded in this dead end town, and for what? Some puffed up tech hunter rumor of AI cores and CPU units. Well, goodbye blue skies, goodbye sunlight, so long desert breeze. Now there's the sound of the frog to listen to instead. Listen to that and there you've got yourself a few sleepless nights. And don't even get me started on food. How much longer are the reserves gonna last on this maroon island, eh? <sighs> Anyway, looks like you're one of us now, eh? Welcome to the party! If you don't want to be a party pooper, don't talk about the fog. Or, what's in it for that matter? The screeches and groans are enough of a reminder already. Can't leave. 
Oh, I want to, believe me. But every single time I pluck up the courage, my dear old brother, tortured scream echo in my mind. And that's when I remember that perhaps a lack of sunlight and the odd back pain grumble from Crumble John isn't such a bad thing after all. Not compared to the, my fate that lurks in the fog. I mean, sure, it's easy to throw out suggestions, Captain Obvious. But talking about it is much easier than doing it. Then allow me to drag you out of here with me. With us. Well... You got a nice sized crowd following you, and you all made it in here in one piece. That's something. But is it enough, I wonder? She grows silent as she fidgets with a scar on her hand. Ah! To the abyss with it! I might never get another chance! Drag me if you have to. Don't let me bail on this. Alright, guys, let's make this our one and only attempt at escaping the Fog Islands. And it goes off so well getting spotted. Might as well continue this fight. Collect their heads and sell them. Even if we're out of Mongol, it'd still be good. But we're whooping their asses. Those dead hivers. We beat them in numbers this time. God damn it, don't get hit, guys. It's just one. Pull it down. God damn it, elves. Quick, beat up that lonely one. Beep was beating them up already. But together. We're stronger. No, no. Stop blocking. Start hitting. Yes. Now click their head out more. There's always a problem. Alright, he's down. It's already morning and we're still in the Fog Island. Look how many there are of these things. And what is that? Oh no. Dinosaur. Be careful, guys. I'm scared of them more than of these idiots. Collect his hide. Make sure it's dead. Okay, good work. Now collect his head. Look at these purple idiots running about. We might have to take them on. Yes. Show them our dominance. You're not having a, a snack today. We see, we spent the whole day trying to escape, but our team just needs more training. Thanks to the Shinobi Feast, we're gonna get that training with everyone. Even if it's pointless training like lockpicking. We all need the training. Get stronger. Tougher. We need to escape the Fog Islands. Get out of this shithole. Yes, train. Train! Okay, it's just bare minimum training. We need more people. So, uh, we're gonna look around. I mean, someone here has gotta join, right? Look at these guys. They're ready for a fight, right? Hello there. Name's Crab. You looking for a medic? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Wonderful. My charge is the standard fee, 6,000 cats. Okay, that guy's a bit, a bit expensive. Let's try this guy. The stranger is quietly muttering to themselves. They quiet as you approach. Well, hello there, Outlander. Do you have any stories? Um, why are you interested in my stories? I mean, can can you fight? I want to know if you can fight. Help us get out of the Fog Islands. But yes, I could fill a book with all my stories. Like the Holy Nation slavery bit. Yeah. The stranger appears excited. Come, sit, drink, tell us stories. Sure, why not? Chloe sat down, pound a few shots of grog and detail her adventures so far, the stranger whose name Chloe found out between only moderately embellished tales of adventure, intrigue, fortune, and glory, is Finn, hangs on Chloe's every word. Chloe got thoroughly smashed. You tell such amazing stories, Chloe. We always wanted our own story. Can we come with you and make more? Chloe put a blurry arm around the three Finns sitting next to her. Hell yeah, you and us against the world, buddy! Woo! Chloe's vision begins to fade and Chloe then heard a loud thump as her forehead collides with a table. Makes sense for Chloe. Alright, so we sold a few things and got crab. So, yeah, we're all set, right? Us lot can do it. We got a medic, we got a fin. Let's, let's try to do this again. We found somebody to join our group. Oh, God damn it, Beep, what have you done? No. Oh. Damn, Everett. 
Hive a queen. She's slow, beep! What have you done? We're gonna die now! Okay, attempt two of this bullshit of leaving Mongrel and the Fog Islands. Oh man, look at this Jurassic Park bullshit! We have to kill this little raptor! Man, they do so much damage. Just be thankful it's just one. Okay, guys? Okay. Get this skin. This guy thinks he's got a snack? Nah, -uh, not on my watch. Go on, mess him up. Ruin his plans of eating that person today. Come on, guys. Put more effort into it. There we go. Take his head. The purple ones scare me. I think they can do more damage. But it's just the one, and there's many of us. So we're gonna mess this guy's day up. Look at him getting in the middle of every single one. What an idiot. And he's dead. Okay, we're going back to the mongrel. Things are just too tough out there. I mean, those normal fogmen, easy to deal with. But the fog heavies, they hit really hard. And we just need to rest up before leaving. Maybe we need to hire some mercenaries. That will help us get out. Just for, for three days, okay guys? Three days will do. Alright, attempt three. This time, we got mercenaries. We don't have to worry about fogmen and raptors. Alright, Chloe, next time we need to run away from something, make sure it's not man-eating creatures. This shit is unnecessary. Probably shouldn't attempt saving someone, but we're gonna try. Man, those heavies do hit harder than normal ones. But we got this. It's just one. There's many of us and we've got mercenaries. It's okay if the mercenaries get caught. We don't have to go back to save them. Okay, guys. Just, we have to get past raptors, fogmen. I don't know which one I'd rather deal with. At least the fogmen don't pick us up when we get knocked out. That's... yeah. We're getting starting to feel closer to freedom. Just seeing actual blue sky. But it's just these guys. Oh, God. Well, you know what to do, guys. Kill without mercy. Good show indeed. Wham! And he's dead. It's taken us forever to get out of the Fog Islands. Just constant attack by raptors and fogmen is tiring. So now it's time for the sneaky approach. They can't attack what they don't see. So here we go. I feel so close. It's so close. We're so nearly there, guys. The dregs! Yes! Freedom! Freedom! Oh! Yeah, but then it wasn't too long until some starving bandits decide to attack us. Come on guys, treat them like the fog men. No mercy. Strike first. Oh, man. Well, there's a lot of green, but there's also a lot of red. Too much red for my liking. Also, we lost quite a bit of mercenaries. I think they were kidnapped by the fog men. But hey, that's what they were paid to do. And we had to carry Everett out there, because she's so slow. Ugh. Beep, why did you recruit her? Els, this is your fault. I know it is. But yeah, um, people are going down. We don't have many left, but we, we can't lose to these homeless people. These starving bandits. Come on, guys. Strike with everything you got. No mercy. Oh, damn it. Come on. Don't lose to these starving bandits. That's good. It's going to require a lot of us to carry these guys out of here. But we're doing it. We're nearly there. We're home free. Yes. Well, I saw a mercenary of us. Alright. We did it. Let's beat that cripple. Yeah. Chloe's going to beat the cripples. Alright. Heal up. And yes. That would be this episode of Kenshi. I said we'll get out of the Fog Islands, and we did. Chloe's happy. She sees the blue skies. But now, where will her adventure take her? Who knows? But we'll find out next time on the adventures of Hashtag Chloe. Thank you, and goodbye.